Looks like we are live. Hello, everybody. It's me, Ark, back with some more Outer Worlds. Because, well, I just really like this game. You know what would make this game better is mods for, like, different kind of skills and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just used to, like, following New Vegas having all different kinds of mods and stuff. I bet you this game will have support for mods eventually. Um, anyone here? No? I wish I could see... I wish there was a way to see when I'm visible to others and when I'm not. Otherwise, there's no way to know and I can only just guess. You know what, maybe there's... I just thought of it, but... Maybe... Oh, pickpocket. Steal from humans while sneaking. Crouch would be a sneak attack. Sneak attack ignores. Hmm. I thought maybe, like, if you upgraded the sneak skill, you could, I don't know, like... have indicators of when you're in sight or when you're not, but I guess not. This doesn't look like it's a thing. It'd be cool if it was. Oh, hello. Hmm. Uh, is there any... Th I should probably sell some of this stuff so I don't need them. Stealth skills? Sell that one. Hack. Hack skills. Yeah, I don't need this one so I can sell it. Hmm. I can get rid of this head. Wait a second. 29 apples. What? When did I. When did I get 29 apples? How? Why? I don't remember picking up that many apples. I mean, I picked up those three apples, but those couldn't have been it, right? I should probably use some of these mods. Uh, where is... Is there... I know there's a workbench around here. This one, right? up my revolver? Nah. I think level 5 is a decent level to keep it at. Uh, modifier, that's right. Mag to zap, mag to power, mag num. Ooh, this will be good. Body armor, helmet armor, rating against physical damage. But everything else goes down, though. I don't want that. Increases tech skills. Increases the range at which interactable objects are highlighted. Ooh. Should I? Maybe not on this piece of armor, because this one is kind of too heavy. It's also not my style. This one's better. But maybe I should go with this one. Because it's got hack. I don't know. Let me see, tech skills. Do I need extra tech skills? No, I do not. So this is, this is not a broader one, so that's good. 
Yeah, I should definitely junk that, because that is way too heavy for me. Let's see. Ooh, I can install this mod. Install this one to get more tech. And I think I'll hold on to the geographic scanner. That one seems really good. Maybe I can modify though. Get it to level four. Yeah, get this to level four. And repair. Ninety one, ninety one, fifty seven, ninety five. I should repair this one, actually. Gonna need armor parts, though. Yeah, let's break that down. Gonna tinker that. Repair it. There we go. We're looking good. Is there, is there a vendor in this area? Uh, does not look like it. I mean, I know he's a vendor. Something I can help you with? Uh, I'll help. Oh no, not that. It's trade. Fresh. There we go. What is this? Fiverr? Spacer's Choice Revolver, customized by Weaponsmith to use heavy Vulcan ammo. Interesting. Should I sell the grenade launcher? Yeah, it's not too heavy. Yeah, I can I can afford to carry that stuff. Uh, let's see, what were we up to this time? Last time, I believe. Uh, oh yeah, we got a couple of quests. Uh, we need to divert power. We also, need to retrieve a logic module from. And let's see, three volumes. about find Zoe. So I think that's what we were doing. We we're going to go try and find Zoe. Anything there? No. Nope. Zoe Chandler. Charge quickly. Come on, Parvati, I believe in you. We made it. Good job. are heavy. I guess I don't really need those since this has tech skills right now. Uh, level 
level three. Level eight, they're all the same. So I can jump one. Zoe. I know she went to join the uh, Marauders. She's got to be somewhere over here. Let me save just in case anything goes wrong. Huh. Oh. I can't disarm those? I guess not. Oh, I already did loot this place. Wait a second, I've been here before. Um, oh, there's an enemy. What was that guy doing here? Hey, at least I found Zoe and she's alive. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Uh, are you, Zoe? Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Uh, can you clarify something? I'm great at clarifying. How are you still alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. I'm impressed. How did you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. So, why did you leave camp again? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Right, anyways. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Uh, you should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Stefan's planning to surprise you with an episode of your favorite series. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of The Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Yeah, take care. Huh. I want to be outlaw. Never would have guessed. Well, I mean, I saw that coming because... I looked at her notes. I don't know, I'm just saying, it seems kind of... Oh, what am I doing? I should just fast travel, shouldn't I? There we go, fast traveling. Uh, Alright, there's Grace. Ooh, she killed something. Ooh, she killed more stuff. What is it? Yeah, hey, uh, so uh, I got Zoe to come back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? 
Uh, something about wanting to be an outlaw rather than I get into it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Ooh, a lot of XP. Deserter's reputation increased. Hmm. Looks like. Let's do the side quests. Ooh. Gained a bolter pistol? What? Huh, but it's in bad condition. Why? Why would you give me this? It's it's in horrible condition. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Um Fresh right. off the limb. And anyway, can you take my stuff? There you go. Uh, I need to get to the thermal plant. The question is, how? Oh, hey, there's Zoe. Uh, ooh, I can fast travel to it? Oh, when did I unlock the geothermal camp? Oh, maybe it's because I walked by it. Geothermal plant. Mechanical sentry? Nothing. Hmm. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Let's see, how do I get in? Yeah. Oh, here's this little spot. That's a stagger point. That's a main point. Interesting. So that's what I can do when I slow down time and have high enough points. Uh, very interesting. So it doesn't highlight parts. But yeah, it doesn't really highlight any of the vulnerable parts. It just says when you hover over them that... Hey, this spot is, uh, can, if you hit it, it will do this, possibly. Oh, where is it? There we go. I wonder if I should use energy cells to conserve on ammo. A vending machine. This is the vending machine. Let me loot first. Uh, there's a lot of scientists around here. Corporate commander. Uh, I think that's everything that I can loot. So hard. 
Probably, yeah. Sawed off shotgun. Level three, huh? Yeah. Assault rifle. Level five, eh? Don't need these. Was that vending machine again? Oh, the vending machine was over here. Right. Anything good here? Nope. Nothing really interesting. Hmm. Quiet muzzler. Let's save before we get in there in case. So, geothermal plant. Wonder what's gonna be in here. I wonder if they're gonna explain why there are auto mechanicals just like laying around trying to kill me. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. I could just jump through that. Terminal. Memory purge, purge complete. How to borrow your copy of the Young Spaces Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering, I need a reference. I returned a copy to the repair bay. Oh, there's a mechanical engineering guide in the repair bay. I can get that for the quest. Chaos everywhere, mechanicals gone haywire, gunfire, hearing some screams, oh law. I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for today. Please deduct the delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be member of Spacer's Choice family. Uh, I don't think he got to leave. Oh, I guess I can just go through here. Here's the thing I'm looking for. Down here? Ooh. Sorry, little sprout. I need your stuff. Damn it. No stuff there. Huh. Logic module is there, but I need a lockpick of 45. That can't be right. There's gotta be some way to enter. Is a key? Unlock door. Enter passcode. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to find a passcode. Let's look at the personal logs. Uh, Chester Higgins again, that hull head found him fiddling around one of the mechanics, so I had to ride him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now, I'm feeling bad for what I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He's working on some logic module. I confiscated it. it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Oh, logic module, you say? Doesn't sit personal like Tanaka. Uh, doesn't sit right when the company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up a chief of security with no staff. It's a small army of mechanicals knocking about. Guns pointed every which way. The company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an automata, auto mechanical never will. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. The company has never been wrong before, I suppose. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Greetings, Chief Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Specialist Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. Security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew. An ale that's good for what ails you. Passcode? Spacer Thompson accepted. Ooh. Let's 
there's a... Ooh. Stagger. Cripple. Blind. Interesting. What are you doing up there, Bonvati? Find that. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, nope, not that. You need to find a logic module. Looks like there's one over here somewhere. Just don't know where, but. Uh, I think. Oh. Immunosol? What the heck is that? I know this can cripple him. And then let's do a stagger. I wonder if I can do that. Nah, I guess not. something? What did I do? Mr. Ouch. What the heck is a Mr. Ouch? Uh, this thing? Repaired on a mechanical scout. Wait a second. I ordered a copy of the young spirit. I think it's volume 3. I need something to read down in the pit. Uh, so he moved the guy to the pit. I want to talk to this guy. diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Hey, you made it out of that junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Actions towards spacer's choice. Mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion: All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with spacer's choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Wait, so you want to help me destroy the other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Confirm. Uh, uh, confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. Go ahead, buddy. Help me take them down. Yeah, looks like I got a little buddy now. Anything in here? Something. Ah, there's a security chief corpse up there. Uh, anything here? No, this is. Hey, this is the bathroom. Oh, hey, here's a plant worker. Where are you going, little buddy? No, 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 just leave me alone. What? Someone here? No, dude.
Look, dude, I come in peace. So does this robot, I think. Oh, looks like my gun could use some repairs. Insufficient parts. Huh. Ah, yeah, that's gonna be. Maybe I can just... Hmm. Not real. You're not real. Yeah, I guess I should back up this guy. I don't want to let him go in alone. Really? That, oh, oh, okay, I am. Damn, this thing is this thing has tough armor. Everyone all right? Hmm, I need to I don't know, I need to Terminal. Shut off steam release valves. Ooh, there we go. Anything around here? All right, workbench. Ah, oh, this is just what I needed, actually. So if I put a zap on it, there we go. Now it does zap damage. Nice. Can I? Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. It's you and me against all these robots. this uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that I probably shouldn't do that Killed them all. I feel like instead of this, I should use bolter pistol. Uh, does it use? Yeah, it uses energy. Should I? 71 DPS, 122. Yeah. Something here? Oh. Light machine gun. Ah, the security chief's... Uh, the security chief's keycard. Hacking skill is too low. 
Chester's password. Passcode? Who's Chester? Maybe his key card will get me in. Ah, yes. There we go. And logic module. Neat. Oh, hey, a revolver. Nice. Hmm. So I got the logic module. Now what do I need to do? Ah, I need to find the m volume. It was somewhere. Oh, you scared me, buddy. Thought you were gonna kill me. Uh, I think I need to. Hmm, this is. Uh, over here? No. Uh, something down here, right? Gotta figure out where. Ah, it's down there. Before I go there, I want to check out up here. Is there anything up here? Try using the bolter pistol. See how that works. Yeah, this is definitely. I need Chester's passcode. Where is that, though? Actually, more importantly, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm not going to use that because I have no idea what that does. Sir, where can I find Chester's passcode? Hmm, I guess it's not here. I'm just gonna. Is this. Am I going the right way? Hang on a second. Uh. Ah, right. Here. Uh. I'm not a phantom. I'm a real person. And is there anything around here? Get away. Look, my character doesn't talk until I get right up in your face, so just hang on for a second. Let me just pick this up real quick. Hang on, let me just do anything good. Relax, I'm here to help. I think. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. Uh. Hmm. Sneak 30, I don't have that. Calm down, I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. You're not imagining of me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the Phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Definitely. Uh, how long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh, what, are, what do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. 
I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Uh, okay, how have you been surviving? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Uh, you said you were an engineer. What did you work on? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom, just over in the next section. You have a workroom, huh? So, if you worked on these mechanicals, you do you know how to stop them? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Ooh, the prodding irons. That sounds bad. Look, I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Of course you were. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Hmm. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Yes, yes, exactly. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Uh, can I ask the you something? Tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Okay, not what I wanted to know. Uh, what happened here? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Really? How do you think this happened? You mean, why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voice has told him to do it. Okay, I was on which voice? at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I think I'm gonna go. Huh. Hey, Barbati. Yeah, huh? Thomas seems very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Hmm, puppy zone, huh? You know, the tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Thomas always listened to me. Never said I was odd, never tried to... I just want to think of him like that. If he wants to learn about engineering, you should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Right. Something you Say, uh, I know she mentioned your dad a lot, but not your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. I'm sorry. It's hard to miss what you never knew. I don't ponder it over much. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting cannery computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Is that normal? I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay, good talk. Huh. wonder who her mother is. But more importantly, I finally got the passcode. Chester D. Higgins passcode, so now I should be able to do what? Don't know. More importantly, I have to figure out how to divert the power. Hmm. Uh, am I in the right place? Ah, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's up here. Oh, God damn it. You're, you scared me. I was like, oh god, that's an enemy. But it's not, no, that's just... Just you being... Yeah, okay. Huh.
Oh, wait. I guess I already took all the auto mechanicals out of commission, so I don't need to reprogram them. I mean, I could still do it. It would, you know, just for the points. Let's see, was it this way? Modify behavior. Select new mode. Uh, mandated to remain in guard mode. Your infraction has been noted in your permanent record. Ooh, sorry, Higgins. Uh, select new target. Error. On mechanicals in this facility, mandated to target intruders. Uh, define intruders. Define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. There we go. Yeah, I didn't really need to do that though, did I? I need to divert power, so maybe over here? Is there anything here? No. Huh. Plant status. 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater, Saltuna, Cannery, and Botanical Laboratory. Structural damage detected. Please note of. Can I redirect power? Mm, the warning high safety failures to a high likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is a reversible procedure. Power redirection function has failed. Manual will require. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Ah, okay, that's why I need to. So was, I need to flip all three switches. Well, that's. Okay, I already flipped two of them, actually. So I just gotta flip one more. Oh, wait. That's heavy ammo. Whoa. I think the third lock was... Oh, no, it was over here. Now the problem is who to redirect the power to. I kind of want to give it to the deserters. Once we do this, there's no going back. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just got to ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cool. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah, but the deserves are a community. They can't just destroy Ms. what they're McDevitt's built. built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Reed tells me Edgewater's gonna die without workers in power. Sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make Sorry, a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Hmm. No, I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's yeah, I am talking to the lady words before I do order. it. Hmm. Here's a dilemma. I've got, on one side, I've got Edgewater, who is like... 
Look, those guys deserted us, so we're gonna take their power and force them to come back. Which kinda sucks. Because without that power, they're sitting ducks and gonna be killed by marauders, probably. But if I take the power from Edgewater, then I am forcing them to go to the deserters, or also making their life worse than it is. Uh, maybe I can talk to... I have two, let's see, redirect the power, uh, huh. I don't know what to do, I wish there was like a solution for both parties. Something you need? Alright, do you got any ideas? No. Uh, maybe I can go talk to the lady Adelaide and see if I can convince her to, like, just, I don't know, like, it's not too late. I can, st I can still try to talk to You don't want to spoil it? Okay, I'll try and figure it out then. have to act as like a go-between for Adelaide and uh, what's the name, Thompson? Uh, where's the... Alright, let's see. Save here. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, I don't know where I am. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end, and it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. No, I mean, I actually don't know where I am. This is the old botanical lab in Emerald Vale, on Terra 2. By the look on your face, I'm guessing you're not quite following me. Are you not feeling well? I ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. Just, uh... Getting my bearings. You know, pod landed. Not Are far from here. Are you talking about an escape pod of some sort? Mm, yeah. Where did you say you were from? Uh, does the hope ring any bells? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the veil. It's a colony ship. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. You really ought to lay your head down, dear. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't cure what ails you, but it will distract you for a spell. Thanks, Granny Annalate. Uh, can we talk about something else? When we first saw you assumed I'd come to live here. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were, or I might have seen you for what you are. I don't imagine what, what, what's that? Remains to be seen. Might be the woman that saves the veil. Might be Reed's personal gun hand. Save the veil. People around here lack the strength to affect change, or they have the strength but not the will. You seem to have both. Why are you telling me all this? A little prattling never hurt anyone, dear. You might even catch a little sense if you listen close enough. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. You know, Reed's making an offer in good faith. You should consider it. If you think Reed does anything in good faith, then you are asking to be lied to. Uh, you could always continue your way of life back in town. Not under Reed's watch. He and I would come to blows within a day. 
and he would never tolerate my tending to a garden. This is my home. It will be my home even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. You and Reed, do you have some sort of history? That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Remember that limited run of white chocolate saltuna? That was all me. Ah, right. No, I think there's more to it than that. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I'm guessing Reed has his own side of that story. I could not possibly care less if he does. But you're surely welcome to ask him. Right. I will ask him, actually. Uh, here we go. Wait. What's over here? Oh, that's the landing pad. Hmm. If I could just... I guess if I could just somehow patch their... troubles with each other... They might be able to work together. Where the heck is Reed? Uh, I think Reed was over here. The cannery. Let's see. Yeah, here we are. Oh god, you are you are a ghost. I did not even hear you. Huh. Mm, let's try saving here. In case I need to. My offer one. remains standing should you reconsider. Uh, maybe I'll help you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means. Head into the plant, find the main door. Remember that you are representing your town. Right. Uh. Hmm. If you could see. You Can I talk to you about Go something? Go ahead. Uh. Have you taken a look around your town? It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. <laughs> My character looks like this? I... That's just a coincidence, maybe. Uh... How long have you worked here? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. I think maybe it's just the character creator. It's just everything looks very down. similar. We were distance. Moving. Times change. People change, but the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. You know, your town has fallen to pieces. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Does it make it any less true? I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. So you're loyal to Spacer's this is Choice. The Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Now, if you look at the previous stream I did earlier today, you can see I created my character clearly without any bias, so definitely did not copy anyone. Can I ask you Go something, ahead. Uh, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I can convince those deserters to come that back? you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. 
I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. I mean, this is an ugly place to live. People are going to walk away. Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Safety and purpose. But not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to play. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. You and Adelaide have a personal history? I don't have enough perception. Dang. Can Go I ahead. ask you something? Uh, you seem pretty fixed on bringing Adelaide back. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline inedible. Why would you want the cysty pig to have tumors? That sounds disgusting. Begging your pardon. Saltuna is a staple in the diet of any self-respecting spacer. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna Galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us, Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. So what are you doing here exactly? Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Can I ask you something else? Uh, what's this about a plague? Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. You must have some kind of treatment plan. Show up to work, put in your hours, wear a smile. Problems of the body come from problems of the spirit. Work improves the spirit and fortifies the body. Do you know what else fortifies the body against disease? Antibiotics. And where do you suggest we find this magical panacea? Can we pan for medicine in the stream? Medicine is a rare and precious commodity. If you demonstrate you have earned the right to be treated, you will be treated. Otherwise, you must heal yourself. So you're withholding medicine from your own workers. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. But you let Adelaide's son die. Adelaide's son was barely competent. I treat him with our medical rations, and it looks like I'm playing favorites. Now, I will not pretend to understand the suffering Adelaide must have felt on account of losing her child, but she is not the only one to have felt such suffering. I wish she had stayed with us. Adelaide left us when we needed her most. How long has this plague been happening? That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. You should have developed an immunity after repeated exposure to a single strain of contagion. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. Can I ask you something else? Uh, no. Hmm. So I'm going to need higher perception if I want to talk. Actually, I think I should have... I should put more points into perception because a lot of dialogue options actually seem to rely on perception. Hmm. I think there was actually a way for me to respec, wasn't there? Now I kind of want to respec. It costs, I believe, 500 bits, but I can afford that. I'm guessing if I can... Huh. That's... Cannot fast travel. Oh, there's something hostile around me? Huh? 
Where is the... I don't see anything hostile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the respec is on the ship, but... Oh, oh. break this down for some parts. Uh, is there any other weapons I can break down for parts? No, I cannot. breaking this down. And repair. Ah, there we go. Now it's repaired. Yeah, I have 4,500 more than enough to repair. Let's see if I can travel to the ship now. Hmm. I wonder how much of the game I still have left to play. I've heard it's about like a 30 to 40 hour adventure. Where they tried to focus on quality and replayability rather than length. Oh, what's this? Oh, clever. Oh, just another assault rifle. Uh, where do I race? Oh, wow. If I've been able to get out here. Ooh, this thing could use some repairs, actually. Hmm, maybe I should get rid of this. I don't need it. Oh, here's a light machine gun. Uh, impact hammer. Enough. Plasma rifle, uh, stun baton, hunting rifle. Yeah, I should get rid of hunting rifle. Don't really need it. Beer, I so would have stripped this for parts. Let's see, this is workbench. Maybe it's up here. Does not look like it's up here. Maybe I'm missing and it really was just with the... Uh, right around here. Is it? The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. What can I do for you? Can't, no. Goodbye. Uh... Is it the workbench? No, it's not. Is it next to the workbench somewhere? Oh god, I can't remember. I haven't been on this ship. Uh, maybe... Ah, this one. This is respec. Uh, I should probably save while I can. Oh, I can't change these. Oh, dang it. I thought I could. Hmm. So respecking doesn't allow me to change my initial attributes. Oh, wait, what?
So I can't do anything about my perception. Oh well. I was hoping I could up my perception. Or maybe... Is there a way to do that? Mm. Actually, I think I could do that with some drugs. Up in my perception. I want to see if I can talk to Adelaide, see if I can... I still can't convince her. If I can't, then I'll have to probably talk to Topson. Uh, Granny? Where are you, Granny? Hello? Terminal. Personal files? Uh, bypass? Ooh. Adelaide McDevitt, first entry. May the eternal bless my first endeavor has been two days since I walked away from life at the Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational, mostly. So is sour, do what I can, but I'm gonna need some powerful fertilizer. I'm tired of having the taste of salt tuna lingering on my tongue, day in, day out. I want something fresh, something that grows out of the earth. Uh, last entry. Found another worker from Edgewater, ex worker now. Desertion rates must be climbing. I'm not terribly surprised. Reed's style of management has always been tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the worker was in a sorry state. F fever, shallow breathing, delirious, must have been plagued. I sent him right with a diet of greens. He was all better in a couple of weeks. Physically, spiritually, he's one of our flock now. Experimental notes? I am hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the solar automaton of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacer's Choice products, it is cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand the horticulturists failed to produce a single viable crop. Something about the soil being too poor. Determined to fly away, may the eternal rest or smile upon my endeavors. Or are living things as sensitive to their environment as any breathing, thinking body? I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists tending to them are cold, heartless, inhumane people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhuman power. One cannot expect your crops to flush with green and reach for the sky under these conditions. Soil is sour, it's true. Don't know quite how to explain that. I'm sure the scientists will say something about biology or carbon cycle. But I can conclude, after months of my own experimentation, that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. Hmm. Hmm. I was hoping maybe I could find something, some leverage on Adelaide. Here, right? Yeah, good. Hmm. I believe it's usually here, so. Oh, there she is. I'm Liz. I should go. Hmm. I guess the only thing I can do is talk to the guy in Edgewater. But in order to unlock that dialogue option, I need perception, which I'm going to have to try and up it as much as I can. Where's the Saltuna cannery? Here it is. Let's see. Is there anything around here that I can examine? So, something. What? Hmm. You know, don't blame yourself. I lost. 
The burden of leadership is responsibility. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost... Okay, yeah, I need perception, so... Anything that can give me... Mind attributes. So now it becomes good. Can I... Add more? No, it only stacks once. Something like Yeah, sometimes people move on as well. Scripture way. tells us we all have our purpose. Yes, we have lost. Ah, there we go, perception. You and Adelaide have a personal history? Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. I think I got it. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. Mm, no, nothing. Go ahead. Must have worn off. Huh. That's weird, though. What? Is there something I'm not doing right? Hey, yeah. buddy, you got some? No. Uh. Huh. Maybe there's a hint in the journal. Let's see. I spoke to the vicar. Uh. I reprogrammed that. Ah, maybe I can speak to the vicar again, see if he has any suggestful insight. Like, he might know more about Adelaide and Thompson. Logs? No, nothing. Uh, which one was the vicar? I think it was over here. Progress on that matter we discussed? Yeah, I got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I. Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law forsaken joke, is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want that book to keep others from you. You just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. Oops. I spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Huh. At least you still have your mission work here. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I can make myself of use to your crew. Hmm. Could be a beneficial arrangement. You need a ride out of town, and I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty I can do without the counseling. Toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. 
I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Oh, also I'm a hacker. So is that all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Are you even a vicar? Because you aren't sounding very vicarly. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? How'd you get assigned to prison duty? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. Oh, wow. What a shock. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? What's the story with that book? It's the journal of one of the originators of the Philosophy School of Thought, though it would be more than a century before it was perverted into that belief system. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of that came later. Bokonu had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Okay, sounds Fantastic. good. Let's go. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Hmm. Neat. Looks like I've got a new companion. I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready. Uh, I suppose... Hmm. I wonder if he can... If I bring him, extra dialogue options will pop up. Where are we at? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, not you. Uh... Huh. I want to see if I can change my companion from Parati to Vicar. See if he has anything to say. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to see. He said he would be on the ship, right? So where would that be? Are you on this thing? Oh, wow. If I'd been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. Huh. Doesn't seem like he's here. Hmm. Hey, maybe Ada, can you tell me how do I switch companions? No? This one? No. Welcome aboard the unreliable. Right. Huh. Is there something else I'm missing? Might as well turn in the other quests that I have. I think one of them was at the landing pad, right? Not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love living here. Okay, good, but uh, be quiet one second. Bring us honor, soldier. Hey, Ludwig. I got a logic module. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. 
Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Ooh, a shock stick. Yeah, take care. Ooh, I leveled up. Is there anything I can use? I could put a point in to get Persuade up. got a handgun up, so what do I want to get up? Let's get lock pick up. There we go. Then, maybe just put some points into tech. Uh, I don't think I can change companions right now. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, fistful of digits. I should turn that in. Uh, where is the constable? Maybe Vicar is still here? Yeah, he's still there. And I don't think there's anything else I can talk to him about. Wish we had some better rats. Something to report? Hey, so I got those fingers. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Here's Guillaume's finger. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Uh, yeah, here's Doc's finger. Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Uh, here's Birdie Cotton's. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Ooh, constable's badge. What's this, junior deputy constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. How did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Sounds like marauders have been a problem for a while. Ever since the company first settled the veil. Life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folk can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Hmm. I heard one of your workers shot himself. Eugene? Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much adrenatide. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of adrenatide. Uh, can I ask What's you something your mind? else? No, I guess not. Huh. I guess there's no other bounties for me. Be needing nothing but... Isn't there actually one other engineering book I could use? I think it was around here at the cannery. Huh. Uh, oh, hello there. 
thought I could talk to you, but... Tall small blocker. Terminal. Welcome Phyllis Granger. Uh, from Thompson, owing to your hard work and positive, I sanction your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company does not provide us with enough medicine to treat every worker. Wish I could treat every member of space with choice family fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstances, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're all in this together. Uh, personal files. Bypass it. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterly. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't have look like Theodore. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile and you'll get your medical privileges. It's a start. That's a... Not a very good pep talk. Hmm. Here? Here it is. Oh, hey, what's this? From the office of Retopsin, uh, symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I've instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into sick house. Plague is the reality of life in a frontier of space. We are expected to face up to reality. The reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies spirit, physical illness, recapitulates spiritual that that something. Ooh, this one's free to hack. I guess I can go back to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I better go back and deliver these engineering things. Uh, it seems like the one I need to convince is Adelaide. That's what it seems like to me. Dialogue skills good for conversations. Also unlocks combat dialogue abilities that distract and disable your enemies. Where is? Oh yeah, he's over here. Was... I thought I saw something. Any luck finding one of those manuals? So yeah, I found one. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part two. It was in the cannery. Hey, that's just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads. Be still, my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Yeah, don't forget that. Hey, I also got one more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Elusive part three. Someone stashed it away in a old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Ooh. Oh wait, can hey. I talk to him about? S no. So let's see my reputation. Spacer's choice, ninety-six percent positive. Deserter is ninety-six percent positive. Huh. Interesting. Is ninety-six percent the cap or something? Can't be right. No, I already. Just, I think I already looted that area. Uh, 
I'm listening. No. Can't say anything to her, huh? No, maybe I'm overthinking this and I should just divert power. Ooh. Uh, don't look this way, Adelaide. Yeah. someone I can talk to in this place? I feel like there's... Hmm. I guess the only thing I can do is just divert power to one or the other and then maybe try to convince them like look why don't you just go live with each other and I was like it's not perfect but it'll work sort of huh. uh, oh, I have plenty of hacks so I can do this disarm the fences recent logs I think I want to redirect power to the botanical garden and maybe try to convince... Hmm. I definitely need to make a save here in case anything goes wrong. Redirect power. Continue. Now, hmm. Redirect to the botanical laboratory. Deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Hmm. So, Spacer's Choice reputation decreased. <laughs> Only 16% negative. So, I guess I have to return to read and explain, like, uh, so yeah, you, there's no power. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I want it to bite me in the butt. Let's see, how's the power here? Mm -hmm. Power seems like it's still good. Kind of. You want to know what gets my bio churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. And then you wandered to town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Teach you a lesson? Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. You're all slaves to Spacer's Choice. I'm just liberating. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. 
I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Hmm. I can't call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power oh, rigging. Easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. I kind of feel bad for destroying their home. I'm guessing there was no other choice. I had to destroy one home or the other. What if I... I made a save just for it, so I was like... He makes a good point, you know? It's like, they're just trying to live. If I redirect power to Edgewater... Okay, I can convince the deserters to return. Let's try that. Yeah, I should have done this in the beginning. I just wanted to see what would happen if I turned off Edgewater. I mean, luckily my reputation with the deserters is actually pretty good. So they can't hate me too much, can they? Worth cigarettes. Oh, yeah, they're not happy with me. Hmm? Can I talk to any of these guys? I don't know what you did to talk. Oh, okay, I guess she doesn't have anything different to say. See why Thomas can't something I can huh. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise I would have seen you for the snake that you are, chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. You know, Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I'll need help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. You're starting to scare me, Adelaide. These human corpses. What? I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. What happens when you run out of corpses? Edgewater cemeteries got corpses aplenty. 
Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Yikes. Ew. I'm gonna go talk to you guys. Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying... You won't survive without power, right? You just gotta back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Yeah, so don't work at the cannery. You want to be an engineer? You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Stay put. I'm gonna try to talk Reed into stepping down. You know where to find me. Huh. What about talking to Grace? See what she thinks. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. So it's time to go the back to Edgewater. Been weighing on me. So we came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep Marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. Thomas told me the same thing. Edgewater's not just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. A big, heartless machine of metal and gears grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. She's a little dangerous thinking, you know? Uh, hang on, let me sure. talk to Reed. Suit yourself. I'll be here. So, yikes. I can see that... Adelaide is crazy. Look at that. Hmm. Let me take the bow regular anyways. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they didn't care much for me. Hmm. Nice to hear that far body. Let's see. If I remove Reed from Edgewater, then I can get her people to come back. Hmm. I don't know. The problem is, do I want to let her, like, just... She's digging up corpses and feeding them to the ground. Is that right? I mean, if you think about it in a way, they're still being buried. They're just having their body chopped up into little tiny bits. Just so that they can be fed to the crops. I mean, it, it works, right? A little sacrilegious to dead having their bodies be turned into mulch. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Better than letting people die. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their... I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back so long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Town's terrified of the plague. Abernathy asked me to steal medicine for I am not without compassion for Abernathy's predicament, but the plague has taken a hard toll on us all. I am a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, 
but it is my home. At least people aren't getting sick with plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Have you people ever eaten an actual vegetable? The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a spacer's choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. You know, I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Hmm. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. Excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Uh, she's been using human, human corpses in her fertilizer. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's, come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. Mm, yes. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. This town needs Adelaide. She won't come back so long as you're here. So, Adelaide wants me gone. Trade my life for the life of the town. You understand what she's doing. If I leave town, I'm as good as dead. If I stay, Edgewater will die of attrition. Adelaide has discovered some secret cure for the plague, and she is holding my town ransom. I can't make that decision for you, Reed. No, I don't expect you to do any such thing. Edgewater is my own responsibility, and you have done quite enough for me already. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Yeah, you don't have to do this. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. This can't be easy. I've always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Right, well... Take care. I feel bad for him. He's just trying to do what he can. He's although he, he does like he listens to the company a little bit too much there. But yeah, I can see like compared to Adelaide, he seems better. Adelaide's just crazy. And again, maybe this is the best solution. No one dies and everyone can live peacefully just as long as putting Adelaide in a position of power doesn't screw everything up I guess I'll find that out later oh, okay. I can move now wait no this is the wrong place uh, this place, Danico Garden. Hmm. Yeah. So hey, I talked to uh, Doctor Reed. Look at that. The snakes come back. Talk to Reed into living. You can come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know. 
Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Well, I, I made a mess of things. Guess I'm just trying to set it right. This don't put us on even footing, you understand. But it is a start. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. Huh. So I guess I did what I could. Looks like I've completed all the quests here. Want to go see what happened? Hmm. Uh, any skills I got? Let's put a point to get intimidate up to forty. get engineering up to hmm. nah Let's put points into range then Let's see what about perks I still need other previous ones right Time dilation recharge rate. Yeah, that's what I want. So I guess now I can go to the ship. Which I think I will do that tomorrow. Because it's getting late. What time is it? Oh, that's late. Very late. Yeah, I don't know why I stayed up this long. But I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I'm gonna try and upload this as well to YouTube. Just having all four parts. Yeah. Take care.